Hello, and thank you for tuning in. You are tuned in to Esoteric Guidance, and my name is Nehru. I have a very fresh, very fresh dream that I just woke up from. Um, I historically do not take naps, <laughs> but today I fell asleep. One, while I was watching a movie called The Moon and Sun. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I would show my face, but again, I just woke up. So, yeah, I'm not going to put my sleepy face on the camera. I am a Sagittarian, so I do care about the way that I look. <laughs> okay. I have no problem with saying that Sagittarians are very stylish people, and they care heavily about the way that they look in their presentation. All right, so I am not vain about it. Certainly, I have no problem otherwise showing my face now. For those of you who have been a part of the channel, you know that. Um, but um, I'll spare you the bags under the eyes, and I'll spare you all of that. Okay? I literally just woke up uh, 10 minutes ago. Um, so I had this dream, and I'm just going to come on and share this very quick message with us on this moon on this Capricorn moon Sunday okay full moon Capricorn Sunday uh, again the buck moon okay and for us hunters out there physical hunters it's 99 degrees it's 243 243 that's order 234 okay was uh, a time that I saw four or five minutes after I woke up when I looked at the clock it was 229 2 20 or 29 might be significant for you I was birthed on the 29th of the month okay also something that I found out about my my journey this lifetime 11 29 74 was the second lunar moon for two for 1974 you can look that up, obviously, okay? 1129, the 333rd day of the year, I was born at 107 in the afternoon, 17, okay? That was the night of the second lunar eclipse for that year, the year 11, the year of the tiger, okay? That speaks a lot to my energy. So I had this dream that was... <laughs> very very interesting and I love sharing these because it, I know that it's not just for me okay I have dream catcher uh, dream catchers or dream catchers above my head where I sleep um, in this RV okay I have created that if you will myself by gathering feathers it's one that I've created not one that I bought offline okay and I've cleansed those feathers and all that sort of thing. Okay, you can do that. Okay. So again, thank you so much everyone for tuning in. So this dream was twofold. It was two parts. So the first part, and I'm still I'm still recalling, recollecting details. Okay from the first part of this dream. I didn't wake up, it just, the scene shifted. Okay, so one part of the dream was in one place and then another, the second part of the dream was in a house. So in the first part of the dream, and again, this is for all of us collective, this is for all of us, okay? Also, I was listening to a meditation and, oh, I'm looking for the phone and <laughs> I'm recording on it. See, I'm not completely, I'm not completely, fully physically awake you see how my mind is right now so um <laughs> yeah happy sunday <laughs> so i was listening to a meditation and it is a it was a a combination penile gland uh penile gland uh third eye chakra or penile gland I'm going to get this word wrong Sofrifigo 
so serifigolo i'm gonna get i'm probably getting that name frequency okay when i woke up and stopped the stop the 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 phone stop the frequency thing from playing on youtube it was two 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 oh nine two hours 22 minutes and nine seconds okay and again when i woke up it was two two nine when i looked at the echo time okay two two nine those numbers are just you, you see it right you see it you see it clearly okay let's not deny the truth when it slaps us in the face okay let's not deny the truth when it slaps us in the face and hopefully it doesn't have to slap you in the face so in this dream i am having this enormous enormous argument with someone okay someone who is is not for my good somebody who and it's a female okay this woman is trying to convince me to do all these crazy things go with her and all this sort of thing okay again this is for this is for us collective for us chosen ones this is for us not just me okay she didn't even look familiar to me in the dream okay this is for us the people in the house did and I'm gonna get to that but we are having just this all-out verbal throat chakra just just fight just argument because she's trying to get me to do shit that I don't want to do trying to get me to go places that I and I'm just feeling the energy from that first part of the dream trying to get me to do shit that I don't want to do eventually I get in a car and I leave. I drive away myself. I leave. Okay? She is... We are going through What's My Aura, right? Right now. We're going through that book with, by Mystic, Mystic Michella. When I tell you... Have you ever been around someone and they just, they just irk you just to be around them? They don't have to open their mouth... They don't have to look at you just to be in their presence just gets on your ever loving fucking nerves have you ever been around someone like that have you ever been around someone like that ever okay have you ever been around someone like that this person gave me that feeling I, I just wanted this person to be out of my life, to just leave me alone. So collective, there, is pe there are people out here who we just want to leave us alone, leave us alone energetically. It just turned 250 on the timer and it's 99 degrees outside in Tucson, Arizona. Leave me alone. Have you ever wanted to just get away from me? Okay. So I leave this person. Uh, lo and behold, they find me. Okay? So when I get to this house, again, I've been to this specific house many times in dreams. So I get to this house. Oh, help me, highest divine white light. I did clear my energy. Let me do it again. Um, Woo! I hope you're doing well this <laughs> today. I am doing very well despite this dream. Uh, I am doing exceptionally well. Uh, it's been many days consecutively now that I've awakened happy, elated, and, and, and yeah, okay? Just enjoying the present. It's a gift. That's why that word is called the present. Or that, why that's that's why today the day is the present I should say okay so let's go ahead and get rid of that crazy let's get rid of some of that crazy ass okay shall we let's go ahead and get rid of some of that let's get rid of that get, I said some of it <laughs> get rid of that they are definitely not giving up easily okay so let's go ahead and get rid of let's sage that out get out Get out. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return
Return to sender. Return to sender. Times 5,000 with vengeance in the sword. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. Okay? Um, so, I get to this house. And again, I've been to this house before. So we've been here before, collective. I knock on the door. And by the way, the car that I'm driving is very, this is really interesting. So when I, when I was in the military, my first re-enlistment, I reclassed, changed my MOS. That's what reclass means. Change your military occupational specialty. That's what MOS stands for. Okay? So if this was in 1998. Okay? From 95 to 98, I was at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I was a soldier of Michael Jordan's eldest brother. His name is James Jordan Jr. And he is a command sergeant major retired from the U.S. Army. I think he did 30 years, 32 years or something. U.S. Army. Michael Jordan's eldest brother. Check it and find out. I still have pictures right now with him and their family, Larry and their sister and, and Dolores, Dolores is his mother and, and James before his father was on alive. I still have pictures of all of them, including Michael Jordan. I have those pictures. On, I have them on my phone, but I have those pictures, okay? I served two and a half or so years with this man before he went off to command sergeant major school and another first sergeant came in. He's the one of the toughest soldiers, if not the toughest soldier I've ever served with. He's all a 5'5", five five, okay? If he's even 5'5", five five, I don't even, he might not even be 5'5", five five, okay? But he was, he's a badass soldier, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay? For those of you who are familiar with airborne school, he went to airborne school at the age of 38 to make E8 running around with 18 19 year olds he went to command he went to e8 or or airborne school at fort benning georgia at the age of 38 he's a badass i'm telling you i'm telling you right? he's uncoordinated and he can't play basketball that's why larry played with michael and not him and he's also much older than michael um so yeah all right so when I was at Fort Bragg, I came up for re-enlistment and I decided I wanted to change my MOS. I wanted to do something that was going to be more applicable to the, to the, to the, or at least something that was going to be a happier occupation. I was a mechanic the first three years because I wanted to save myself and my friends money on the car repairs. I had had a couple of cars before I went into the military and at that time, hourly rates were $45, $55 an hour, you know? And, um, and that was a lot for a 19, 20 year old to be paying who was making, you know, a quarter over minimum wage at the time, right? Although I did have two jobs um, at 19 and 20 before I left both of them to go into the military. So anyway, um, when, I re when I re enlisted and decided to change my MOS, I went to Fort Gordon, Georgia, okay? That is the home of telecommunications for the military. That is where the school is, okay? Satellite communications, okay? So I went to school and learned how to set up communications, satellite communications in the, in the field, on deployments, so that Forrest and Bubba could have a phone in Vietnam, okay? Not really, I'm not, I wasn't back then, but you get what I'm saying, okay? So that there could be communications in wartime on the phone. Okay, so while I was at Fort Gordon or before I left to go to Fort Gordon, I bought, and this is again in 1998, I loved, again, back then I was trying to emulate Kevin, okay, I was trying to emulate Kevin, and he had all the Lincolns and the Cadillacs and the, the 70s and the 60s Cadillacs in the 80s growing up, and he's had over 100 cars, okay, and so Back then, I was still trying to emulate him. He had not stolen my first wife, but it was about to happen in 1998. It was about to happen. So I reclass, go to Fort Gordon, Georgia, or re-enlist, go to Fort Gordon, Georgia. And before I left, I bought a 1978 Lincoln Town Car. This car was white with a green top. 
and green leather interior. Beautiful, gorgeous car. Beautiful, beautiful car. This car had 70 some thousand miles on it. It was mint, just gorgeous, beautiful car. Beautiful car. I ended up selling it when I graduated school. I ended up selling it to someone in, in Augusta, Georgia, which is where Fort Gordon is. Okay, any of the places or names that I ever mentioned on this channel, as I always say, might be significant for you on your journey. Okay? And so, uh, I don't remember who I sold it to. Okay? Um, and so, that was the car that was in the dream. Okay? So, that I was driving. And so, I get to this house, getting away from this woman, I decide I'm going to go get all my clothes. My clothes are at, evidently, at Kevin's house, the sperm donor's house. And so, I go to his house, knock on the door. Interestingly, he lets me in without a fight. He doesn't argue with me. He doesn't say anything. He lets me in. I am shocked. In the dream, I am surprised. So, we might be surprised at the way that someone comes at us or someone's disposition when we come face to face with them again okay all right 258 on the timer 100 degrees so yeah we might be surprised at someone's disposition okay so it's good if it's not if they've come to the realization of who we are and why we do what we do collective chosen ones 144,000 earth angels, ascended masters, okay, empaths, light workers, healers, okay, um, and so I go into this house, and I, there are two boys sitting at the table who I know, and, and again, whenever I have dreams about my family, those that I grew up with, 16, 16 siblings, I didn't grow up with two of them, I did not grow up with a sister who, whose name is Tia or Latia, we call T, and I did not grow up with a brother whose name is Daniel. Okay, they both lived in West Virginia, or not West Virginia, there's something about West Virginia, in Virginia Beach. They are two children birthed by Kevin and Janice. Janice, not to be confused with another Janice that he was with throughout the 80s. Again, double up names so he married a Janice was dating a Judy okay married a Janice and then after he got before he got out of the Navy he left that Janice and those children in Virginia Beach went back to Illinois and got with another Janice that Janice's name is Janet is Janice Marie Judy's also middle name is Marie or did I say that right? Judy's middle name, the woman who I suspect birthed me, three o'clock exactly on the timer. Her name is Judy Marie. Okay, so Judy Marie, Janice Marie. There you go with the Maries. Okay. Um, and so whenever I see my siblings or those that I grew up with, whether it was because of women that he brought into the, into the, into the clan, cult, okay, combine, whatever, okay, because he was a polygamist for 30 something years, still is, he just can't do it because he's incarcerated, serving a 40 to 60 year sentence, put him there in 2014, that's, a, that's 10 years ago, there might be something significant about 10 years or 10, I saw 1010 this morning after I finished our aura, uh, our aura reading and, and, the 12th testament okay of the 12 patriarchs which we just finished up today again that text that canonical text was hidden from us for a long time by secret societies vatican all those sorry asses okay and so um i was just reminded of someone someone whose name is Linda. I was just reminded. They are living today, by the way, this particular Linda. There's another Linda that I'm spiritually connected to who was born on 9-13-1947, who passed Mother's Day weekend of 19, of 2009. Nine. Okay, her name is Linda also. 
but I was thinking about it, Linda, that I again I've never met physically, but spiritually I am very much connected to, very much connected to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I won't stress it anymore, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so again, I've never met this. I've never met her ever, ever. Not physically, ever, ever. I don't even know if she knows I exist. Okay. So Quentin and Robert are two boy, two their men today, or or adult males. I I don't know if I'd call them men, but they're two adult males today. Robert served in the Marines. Okay. Quentin is a a uh, he writes computer languages like for robotics and things like that. Okay. He lives in San Francisco. There might be something about California or San Francisco. His wife's name is Elizabeth. Okay, the gentleman who went into the Marines, his name is Robert. Okay, last name starts with an H. Quentin's last name starts with a G. He might be associated with someone whose name starts with a Q and a G or a R and an H. Okay, they were born in the same year, 1984. It's 303 on the timer on the on the fifth on the actual clock and so they're sitting there and there's a, several women sitting around this table and there's a chair that's open no one's sitting in at this table when I walk into this house again I'm amazed that Kevin even lets me in and doesn't fight with me there's no arguing he lets me in I am amazed amazed at that so that confirmation bird that lets me know that there's been a shift there there has been a recognizing a realization there has been an energetic shift okay we know that this moon today is all about karma and time it's time for karma and if it's time for karma it's time for dharma okay i hope you're on the right side i was gonna say i hope you're getting some d but Anyway, that implies other things. I'm a celibate man today, okay? And I have been for a year, okay? Um, that implies other things. Um, oh, no, two years, I'm sorry. Um, and so, uh, yeah, all right? Third stint of celibacy right now that I'm on. The first two were three years each. So they're offering me to sit down. They're like, sit down, you can sit down, you can sit down. But I'm like, nope, I gotta get out of here. I know that I'm there to get my clothes and get out. I know that, I, I am ready to go. It's time to leave. And that's for us collective. It's time to leave, it's time to leave, okay? It's time to go. If you are still messing around with somebody who's just fucking for fun, it's time to go, collective. It's time to go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay? Okay? No more dog or cat for their pleasure. I'll say it nicely this time around. No more dog or cat for their pleasure. You understand what I mean when I say dog or cat? No more dog or cat for their pleasure. It's time to go. Or for your for your comfort, for your whatever, you're comfortable there, you're whatever, you're afraid to leave, get out. It's time to go. It's time to pack up and leave. Okay? I'm reminded of the, the, the Back to the Future movie with, with, um, with, with Buford Tanner. Is that his name? Tanner? When he never gets the saying, make like a tree and leave, he gets it wrong. He says, <laughs> make like a tree and go or some dumbass shit. Anyway, make like a tree and leave, leave. It's time to go. So they're offering for me to sit down. I don't want to sit down. I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. They're, I don't know, talking, sitting around a table or something like that, whatever, playing a game, who knows, right? And I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. No, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, 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 right? Um, and Quentin and I were very close. We are, we are, He his birthday is September 27th. Is that right? 
or 28th, I can't remember, 27th or 28th, it might be the 28th, my good friend Marsha, who passed on 128th of 2020, who started dialysis three months after I did and was in the hospital for the first 88 days of that di of dialysis because she was a diabetic and would not take care of herself for many years. 88 is significant. Again, any name, any number, any place, any anything. Okay? All right? All that was happening in Florida. Florida might be significant for your journey. We were really, really close. He was my best good buddy when I when I was growing up. As a teenager, he wanted to do what I did and be where I wanted to be, just like I was with Kevin when I was his age. I wanted to go and be and sue whatever Kevin was doing. I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of that. I didn't care what it was. Okay? He was like that with me. Today, we, are, we, we don't speak. Again, confirmation. What was that? A, what was that? That sounded like a duck. I hope that quack, but picked up on the mic I don't know if it did the windows are closed of course because it's 100 degrees outside but um, <laughs> confirmation so ducks might be significant ducks it's 308 on the timer or on the actual clock sorry it's 29 20 oh yeah, 20 26 26 28 I think uh, when when I looked at the, when I looked, to, yeah, 26, 28 when I looked at the timer, okay? So, I go upstairs in this dream, and I open the door to where my clothes are, and it's supposed to be in the closet. There's something about the closet coming out of the closet. Someone might be a homosexual or a lesbian, and they need to come forward and admit that, okay? Change your ways, but never be ashamed of who you are. Change your ways, but never be ashamed of who you are. If you want to lick clits and you got one, be proud of the licking of clits that you do. If you want to suck dick and you got one, be proud of the dicks that you suck or being a dick sucker if that's what you choose to be. Never be ashamed of who you are. Okay? Just saying. I wouldn't be proud of those things, but I'm also not doing those things. So... Um, I go to this room and I open the door and it's dark. My uncle Emmett, who is the sperm donor's youngest brother, Emmett, and his and and Kevin's wife, Janet. Her name is Janet Lucille Lucas, or Thomas. It right. She take took on his name when they got married in the early 90s, 90, 91 or something. But her name is Janet Lucille Lucas. Is her maiden name, or? No, I don't know what her maiden name is actually. Because when I met her, she was married to a gentleman whose name was Don Lucas. Don Donald might be significant for you. So I don't know what her maiden name is, okay? But Janet Lucille. Again, Janice, Judy, Janice, Janice, Janet was the sequence of women that he claimed to be, or the, I, I would say, the, 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 front running women I would say in his life okay because again there were many he was never he was never monogamous okay I get to this room and they are laying in the bed together they're asleep but they're in the bed together why is my uncle my uncle in the bed with my sperm donor's wife I don't know what does that mean Mm -hmm. Janet is a devil I can tell you for a fact she also suffers from halitosis or I should say suffer she also deals with halitosis she is a very she is she is afro-american uh, Afro, whatever what a brown whatever right but she there's no such thing as african-american unless you were born in Africa and then became a citizen of America right that's the same thing with being a canadian american you are only a canadian american if you have dual citizenship in canada and america there are no Af there are few african americans in this country most of us are brown americans period okay so um 
but she it, it, it very, very, very easily could pass for a Caucasian woman. I mean, very. She is, her skin is as light as Gwyneth Paltrow's. I don't even know why I picked her. Maybe there's something about a Gwen or a Gwyneth. Gwyneth Paltrow, Sandra Bullock, her, her skin is just as, just as European as theirs are, okay? She had, but she got naps though. She got naps. Okay? She got to perm her shit. Okay? <laughs> All right. Um, and so, why are they in the bed together? I go to the room and I open the door and I see them in a, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Right? But then I open the closet and her stuff is, and I just tell them, I'm just here to get my stuff. I'm just here to get my stuff. Both of them wake up and they look at me for a second and I'm like, I'm just here to get my stuff. I'm just here to get my stuff. And I go to the closet, her stuff, her clothes are hanging in the closet now and my stuff is on the ground, on the floor. Again, this is a dream I had less than an hour ago. Okay, it just 13 or 3.13 on the top clock. It just turned 3, 3, 3, 13 in the afternoon, Mountain Standard Time. I keep getting, I'm so used to saying that not the number or sequential time on the timer of the video and not the clock so much. Um, so I see all my stuff on the floor. And so I start gathering my stuff and I'm making noise and then I woke, it, this is funny, on one particular moment, I made loud noise on purpose just to, <laughs> just, you kind of wake them up again, right? And bother them a little bit, right? I did do that. I'm not generally vindictive like that, by the way. Um, but I probably wouldn't care if I did wake the, I wouldn't that so you know what I mean um, and so again that's nothing against them I don't I'm not a vindictive person if I was I'd be doing witchcraft against them right so anyway I'm starting to gather up my stuff I go back outside and wouldn't you know, this woman that I've been, whoever that I, I've been trying to get away from, is outside. Mm. Mm. She's outside, parked in front of the house. And for some reason, I have two by fours or something like that in my hand. I don't know what that's about. Rebuilding, building something new. Um... Maybe you all, maybe some of us will have a house built. There, there's something, I don't know why I had two by fours in, in my hand. Anyway, interestingly, I did not leave the house with clothes that I remembered from the dream. <laughs> all right. So I walk outside with these two by fours and put them in another vehicle and she's like, come on, come on, come with me, come with me. Blah, blah, blah. Or I put them in her vehicle. Come with me, come with me, come on, come with me, come on. She was like, you need, a, you need to smoke. And I was like, and she was talking about cigarettes. Okay? And I was like, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. She was like, well, you need to, blah, 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 blah. again, trying to get us to do something that we no longer do. Whatever that happens to be for you. The last cigarette I smoked was in 2009. Okay? And before... And I had quit cold turkey one other time before that. I quit that time cold turkey as well. Okay? So there might be something significant about 2009. I quit in 2002 cold turkey also. Okay, 2002 in my seventh year of the military when I was getting ready to get out because my heart was changing. Okay, my perspective was changing. That's why I got out. Okay? So let's go ahead and pull some cards just to find out what is going on see where the energy is let's go ahead and do this okay let's 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 find out again and that's where i woke up i was telling her no i'm not smoking no cigarettes she's like no you need to do it and i was just like get away from me leave me alone get away from me and i was telling I, ooh, mm. I was telling my brother who passed on 8-4 of 2021, Matthew, I was telling him to go get me my phone so I can call 911 to come and get, so I could call the police to come and get her. Okay? To come and get her. 
Okay, and maybe that maybe those two by fours were for her. Maybe that's why I didn't. Maybe that's why I put them in her vehicle. I didn't get in her vehicle. Okay, and I was like, go in the house and get my phone. Right, and by the way, did I mention that Quentin and Robert were young in that in the dream? They were, and again, they typically are. They were probably, and that speaks to immaturity. They were probably. Man, seven, eight or something like that. They were small, maybe even four or five. They were young, young, young. Okay. Um. Yeah, definitely between the ages of five and ten. Okay. So. Yeah, five, 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 five. However, you might be seeing. So. Yeah, and so I woke up with my brother going into the house to get me the phone to call the police on her to get away from me. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some numbers. I said numbers, mm. but I have a, a tarot deck in my hand. Again, happy Sunday to you. Hope you're doing well. I hope you are getting esoteric downloads. Okay. 36.18. Getting esoteric downloads. That's the that's a double, by the way. 1836. Might be something significant in your bloodline about the year 1836. It's 318 on the timer. That's a 21. So we are leaving a situation. You see that right there? Okay? We are leaving. All right? And so this particular card is the Six of uh, Swords. Okay? And again, in the boat, we are leaving. Okay? Maybe they are leaving. Again, that speaks directly to that dream. Leaving, leaving, leaving. Get out, collective. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay? Get out. Okay? If you want to experience the energy that's coming up next, you need to get out. Queen of Cups. Okay? Queen of Cups. If you know who you are, okay, you know you don't need to, you don't need to hang around the minions if you know who you are, okay? You don't need to hang out with Apophis and a Pep if you know who you are, all right? Okay, how appropriate, we have the moon. Mm. So we're talking about shadow things being revealed, the moon, shadow energy, shadow things being revealed on this full moon day, on this full moon day, 721. That's 777. Okay? All right? Let me see if that focuses better. Moon energy. Okay? Secret things being revealed. Secret things being revealed. Secret things being revealed. I wrote some things down here on this, in this notebook. Okay, let's take a look at what I wrote down here. After the dream, let's see what I wrote down here. Okay, so woke up at 224. That's Mamba and Gianna's energy all day long, all day, all day. Okay, Rachel, two different spellings, a ravine, standalone, and the name Edward were the two were the names that I got or the information that I got before I pressed play. Okay, any of that might be again. Any of it could be significant for you on your journey at this point in time. Okay? So here we go. I think this is a Ace of Cups. What is this? Oh, Four of Cups. Okay? So the Four of Cups. 
truth, new discovery. Okay, I like how healthy the tree is. Four of Cups. Okay, again, what I hit, what I see, cards, cards are just, cards are just a visualization tool. They could represent most anything. You have to listen to what the card is. Okay, and this represents to me truth. Okay, that's what this card represents. All right. Next has divine white light. Angel number cards. It's 322. Oh, let me shuffle. I did not shuffle. Thank you so much, by the way, for listening to the What's Your Aura videos. Uh, those seem to be uh, gaining popularity. Oops. <laughs> gaining popularity. Something's falling down. Gaining popularity. Again, for those of you who do not know, I've been in an RV for 11 months. I gave everything that I owned away, including the car, um, which is why I currently do not have a vehicle because witchcraft was done on it. Either she, the Scorpio that I was dating, had someone do something to the car, either, either physically a mechanic do something to the car or through witchcraft, and the car did not run for the last year that I had it, so I just gave it away. It sat in the driveway. It was a Mercedes S-Class. Okay? Nice, very nice car actually. Black on black. Okay. Those are the types of vehicles that I like. Even when I was younger, again, Lincolns. I, I had I like Lincolns more than Cadillacs. I don't like either one of them today. <laughs> but back then, again, I was emulating someone who I did not know who was against me. Okay. So let's take a look and see what our angel numbers are. And we'll see what High's Divine White Light gives us. Thank you for the dream, High's Divine White Light, the spiritual downloads, and the significance of what it is for us in our journey as a collective. 0909, new beginnings, great chance, opportunity, courage, accomplishment, endings, conclusion, and big love. We like it, don't we? Well, I'm reminded of the military. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We used to say, give me more drill, Sergeant, make it hurt. That's what we used to say in basic training, right? When you were doing push-ups or running or anything, right? When you were singing cadence. By the way, I was I was in high vibing Celtic shamanic energy yesterday. I was chanting the whole day. The whole day. Of yesterday all day yesterday I just started sweating like my skin just got clammy just like that just from that okay again just I'm telling you I'm telling you we are on the brink of something beautiful we are on the brink of something beautiful collective next angel number one two two one again we had these cards yesterday or the last quickie collective reading okay these cards they don't lie Okay. Taking initiative, change, optimism, joy, uh, communication, messages, uh, good news, expression, and high vibration. Okay. Will that show up? Oh, there we go. Okay. 1221. Okay. You might be a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Or someone you're involved with is. I have a daughter born on December 18th. That's not a cusp, but it's close. Okay. Anything else, High Divine White Light? Anything else from the angel number cards? Thank you, Horus. Thank you, Universe. Neptune. Ascended Masters. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Ascended Masters guy. Whoa, they're like, what? Whoop. Yeah, we got all kind of shit. We got all kind of shit for you. 1331 let's take a look 
Good fortune. Advice, comfort, major change, individuality, and dependence. Okay? Right. 1331. So 1221, 1331, and 0909. Okay? Now let's pull an Egyptian tarot card or an Egyptian oracle card, and then I will be going. Again, thank you so much, subscribers. Thank you for the sharing of the videos. That's something that I've recognized specifically that's increased quite a bit. Um, in the past month, we've had, I want to say 14,000 views or something like that on the channel, which is amazing. You'll always have more views than you have subscribers. That will always be the case. Uh, or, I guess, generally, according to YouTube analytics, you'll always have more views than you have subscribers. Well, no, that's not true. There comes a point when you have more subscribers than you do views. I know of, of content creators and, and those who have 100,000 subscribers, but on average... You know, 5,000 people watch their videos, you know, not 100,000 people, so that's interesting, that's really, really interesting, I guess, um, so, yeah, <clears throat> I lost count of my shuffles with these cards, I will make sure I'm in, alright, so let's see which Egyptian deity is pronounced in our energy today, let's, let's take a look and see. But that tarp, if you can't tell, is covering the cab of the RV, right? That, that is the driver's seat in front of the camera, okay? That might be significant. Who's in the driver's seat? We are in the driver's Oh, one came out. Two. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. This doesn't happen. Two came out. Two. Normally, these cards only come out of one at a time, and I got to pick the card. It's difficult to get these cards to come out. So... We have Metzinger or Mertzinger for righteousness. That is the number 32. And we have Selkis for healing. That is the number 33. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Look. Can't make it up. Okay, 32 and 33, so something is in order, right timing, again, full moon in Capricorn, this buck moon is about karma and timing, can't make it up, can't make it up, healing and protection, is that it, oh, righteousness, is that it, protection or righteousness, oh, righteousness, sorry, okay, righteous protection, I'm reminded of like Bill and Ted, Right on, dude. Right on, dude. Righteousness, healing, and protection. Right on, dude. Healing and righteousness, dude. All right? Keanu Reeves. He's a believer. And I mean enlightened being. He is a he is one of them. 333 on the timer. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. My name is Nehru. This is Esoteric Guidance. We are here for the collective. That is why I am here as an Ascended Master, Gaia Beacon, Extraterrestrial, Descendant of Yeshua. That is why I am here. Seated two seats to the right of Yeshua, to, of Divine White Light. Okay? That's why I'm here. For the collective. Okay? Every other person who's come, here's thus far, has been sent for the unbeliever. Okay, even Yeshua said, I am not here for the ones who believe, I am here for the unbeliever. Well, I am not here for the unbeliever. The unbeliever has run out of time or is running out of time in their own timeline sequence, whenever that is. Okay, lest they wake up. So thank you so much as always for tuning in. This dream is hot and on time. And as always, be encouraged.